2019 LSU. It may just be one of the best, if not the best, college football team of all time. They went 15-0, winning the national title that season, and a big player that was responsible for a lot of that success that they had, not only on that team, but in that offense, was quarterback Joe Burrow. Joe Burrow in that season was insane. He won the Heisman. He completed 76% of his passes, threw for 5,671 yards, 60 touchdowns, and only 6 interceptions. Even though this was the last season of Joe Burrow at LSU, and they would have to find a new quarterback for 2020, LSU fans weren't going to be very worried as they had a guy that was waiting for his time to shine in Miles Brennan. He was seen as the next guy up, the heir to Joe Burrow at LSU. He was expected to do many great things and even showed some flashes early on in his career as a starting quarterback. But fast forward just a few years later, right before the 2022 college football season is about to begin, Miles Brennan has stepped away from the game of football completely. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about what happened to Miles Brennan. Before I move on, remember to smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Now let's get into it. To start this video off, I am going to take it to the state of Mississippi, where Miles Brennan is from and he played high school football at St. Stanislaus High School. He was a dominant player on the Mississippi high school football scene and may just be one of the top players to ever come out of the state of Mississippi on the high school level. As a three-year starting quarterback, he threw for 15,027 yards while throwing for a total of 165 yards and only 25 interceptions. He also did some work on the ground as well, as in three years he rushed for 1,141 yards and accounted for a total of 23 touchdowns. Some of the accolades that Miles Brennan had to his name on the high school level, he was an Under Armour All-American, he made it to the Elite 11 Finals, and in the state of Mississippi for high school football, he set Mississippi high school career records for total offense, passing touchdowns, and passing yards. When talking about Miles Brennan as a recruit, he was one of the highest rated players in the class and a four-star according to the 24-7 sports composite rankings. He was number 10 for quarterbacks ranked in that class and the number 6 pro-style quarterback. He ranked as the 4th best player in his state and the number 152nd best player in the nation. He held offers from schools such as LSU, Oklahoma State, Ole Miss, Cal, Arkansas State, Cincinnati, Indiana, Kentucky, Memphis, and many more. When talking about the top schools in his recruitment, it was primarily in between LSU, Oklahoma State, and Ole Miss, and he would end up going to LSU. To start off his career at LSU, Miles Brennan in the 2017 college football season as a true freshman would be the backup quarterback to Danny Etling. He played in a total of six games as a backup quarterback where he completed 58% of his passes, threw for 182 yards, one touchdown, and two interceptions. When talking about Brennan's second year in the LSU program in 2018, he would have his first opportunity to try to become the starting quarterback for LSU, but would ultimately not win the job versus Joe Burrow, the Ohio State transfer, who is going to be his first season there at LSU. Brandon would be the backup quarterback, and he would only appear in one game, effectively redshirting that season. And in the one game he did play in, he completed four of six of his passes for 65 yards. Going into his third year with LSU for 2019, Miles Brennan was the quarterback two for LSU behind Joe Burrow yet again. In this year, Miles Brennan would appear in 10 games where he completed 60% of his passes, threw for 353 yards, one touchdown, and one interception, but he would end up winning the national title this year with LSU. After the conclusion of the 2019 college football season, in which LSU went 15-0, including winning the national title, there was a lot of questions about the 2020 LSU squad, as LSU was losing a ton of weapons on not only the offensive side of the ball, but the defensive side of the ball. And a question was the quarterback position, as Joe Burrow just had one of the best seasons anyone has ever seen from a quarterback in all time. And when people talked about who was going to be the next man to step up in that quarterback position, it was none other than Miles Brennan. 
Miles Brennan was expected to be the next quarterback after Joe Burrow, and people were even building on some hype for him in the 2020 offseason as, yeah, he had a few years being the backup quarterback developing his game, learning behind some good quarterbacks like Joe Burrow, and just taking his time and waiting for his opportunity, and now this is his big opportunity to finally strike and show people what he's all about. So nobody's surprised, Miles Brennan was named the starting quarterback going into 2020. When talking about his 2020 campaign, Miles Brennan would only play in three games. He showed some flashes, completing 60% of his passes, throwing for 1,112 yards with 11 touchdowns to the air and only three interceptions in three games played. However, those are the only games that Miles Brennan played. He only played in the first three games of the season as he suffered an abdominal injury versus Missouri in week three that would sideline him for the rest of the year. Brennan would eventually heal from his abdominal injury and be back with LSU going into 2021, where people were going to expect big things from him again and to be the potential starting quarterback, but this time he would have competition from Max Johnson that played quite a bit in 2020 while he was out. Unfortunately, the injury bug would stick with Miles Brennan in 2021, this time being a much more serious injury as he got injured during preseason training camp and he would not appear in a single game in 2021 because of his injury. And when coach Ed Orgeron was fired on November 1st, 2021, it didn't take long for Brennan to enter the transfer portal. However, on December 16th, 2021, Brennan announced that he would opt to remain at LSU after the hiring of former Notre Dame head coach Brian Kelly. After returning to LSU for 2022, there was yet again another quarterback competition, which is something that Miles Brennan is all too familiar with up to this point. This time, it would be a three-way quarterback competition between Miles Brennan, Arizona State transfer Jaden Daniels, and returning quarterback from 2021, Garrett Nussmeyer. Unexpectedly shocking everyone, Miles Brennan, just weeks before the start of the 2022 college football season, would announce his retirement from the game of football completely. When talking about Miles Brennan and his career at LSU, he truly had a lot of potential and had a chance to become a great quarterback on the college level. He waited a few years before he'd become a starting quarterback, and right when he had his chance to really show what he was all about and show people what he can be as a starter, he couldn't stay healthy. As he suffered an abdominal injury and got injured right before the 2021 season, and it seemed like he wasn't going to win the job going into 2022, so he officially decided to step away from the game completely. This is what happened to Miles Brennan. Well guys, if you made it this far in the video, drop something down in the comment section below what video you want to see next, and before you head out, remember to smash that like button, turn on those post notifications, and subscribe if you haven't already. Be Kelly out.